for you. The bridge was out of Copper Springs. Couldn't make it across. I had to go around. You want to get somebody else? Oh, no, no. Here's, here's 100. The rest and everything uh, later, yeah? You'll have to tell me who, why. I have reason. Believe me, there is good reason. And there always is. I'll stable my horse. Where will you be? This is my store. I'll be by the saloon just on the other side. But the stable is back where you wrote in. So, be quick as you can, yeah? Seems to me to be an easy way to find out. Doggone, they give him my lucky table. Now, a man won't drink whiskey, he's dead. Don't do that. You showed me. And next time, even you got just one wing. And next time, I ain't gonna feel sorry. Well, uh, you're pretty quick. Friend of the deceased? He's not dead yet. It's a matter of time. Two to one, they don't last till sunup. For how much? I got a $20 gold piece. Here's 20 and 10 for anybody that wants it. I got five more. I'll take the rest. Another 10 he don't. <laughs> Stop it! A man laying here dying and you... Do your business at the bar. That's the least. I didn't mean no harm, Miss Della. Household bets? I suppose. The house. That's me. I'm Clay Sutton. Uh. I have to get him across the street to my office. I'll need some help. I said I'd need some help. I don't believe I caught your name. Tate. Chance. Small. Can't touch that slug. Who did it, Doc? I don't dare to probe. Too close to the heart. How do I know who done it? One bullet makes the same hole as another. Meds. Sit down, Fiumaro. Medicine. 
You take a TTD. That's doctor talk for three times a day. Why? Sewing up a man who's been horned by a steer. You know he'll be dead in two days. Watching a child choking to death with diphtheria, knowing there's nothing you can do about it. From him in there. All the rotten, stinking things. Who did it, Doc? I told you, don't ask me. I don't know. Where are you going? I need some answers. Hey. Hey. Whiskey. Bar closed. Man, as fast as that with a gun? I want to keep him sober. Who'd you come to kill? You're working for Otto. Gunfighter? He won't live to pay you. House bet's 500. He's dead by sunup. I'll take some more of that. It's kind of late for supper. Hey, eat when you can. You learn that in the army. What's good? Well, it depends upon what army you was with. I got side meat and black-eyed peas. That's the army. <laughs> uh, this coffee will hold your belly down. You got law in this town? I'll, uh, I'll fix your food. <laughs> Clay said and had him shot on account of me. Oh, it's been building up a year now. Ever since Otto opened up his door. Well, it was only natural we got to talking, him, him being close by all the time, right next door like that. But what him did most of the talking anyway, mostly. Full of ideas and notions, all shapes and sizes. We. He even got some notions about me. Asked me. Asked me to marry him. Now go ahead and laugh. No need to laugh. Said and know about it? Yes. He gave Otto a month to sell and get out. The month was up tomorrow. I begged him. I begged him, but he wouldn't go without me. You didn't want to go. I couldn't. You like your job that much? I belong to Clay Seddon. Now, he saw you ride into town and talk to Otto. He knows you're hired to him. Now, take care.
Sergeant Hopi. Oh, you're feeding the wrong people. You gotta learn, Sam. Go ahead, boy. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, please, please! <laughs> law in this town? There's a law. Seddon carries it in his hip pocket. They were hitting at me. It's cheaper than dying at that. Cowboy? Sure made me out the fool for all them folks, didn't you? Show yourself. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. I got you fixed just right. And I ain't gonna do it till I'm purely ready. Just like I did that old storekeeper fella. That's whiskey talking. Right out of Seddon's bottle. I've been drinking, but I ain't drunk. You gunfighter, ain't you? You come in town, kill somebody, didn't you? Not you. Huh? Huh? No, nobody. Cause you're gonna be dead. Now I'm gonna count to three. I wanna see some sweat. I wanna see some sweat all over you. One. Two. <laughs> said and killed him. He'll do the same for you, mister. No change. That good? Yeah, I'd say. You know, it's a funny thing about that fellow in there. Come 5,000 miles, dreaming to find something new. And I'm glad I can say no change. You ever stop to think about life? Whenever I see a man die. I was thinking about you and me. Kind of like a woman buying yard goods over the counter. She's buying, the storekeeper's selling, but they're, they're both dealing in the self-same goods. Kind of like you and me. We're both trading in human life. But on different sides of the counter. Come in. Evening. This is Bert Bowers. He's the carpenter here. I also do what undertaking there is. <laughs> kind of goes with making the boxes. Doc, I, I just figured I'd stop by and see, did you want me to measure him? Take some time to knock them boxes together. He just might not need it. Just wouldn't want to get caught without. Six feet two. I didn't mean no harm. I was just wondering. I heard you. Y yes, sir. Well, I'll, I'll be moving along. It's getting kind of late. I, I'll just be moving along. Night. Nah.
Wouldn't take you but a minute to saddle up. Well, if you got a craving for one of them wooden kimonos. I took half my pay. I wouldn't feel right running out. It's almost midnight. You got about five hours, maybe. Said won't wait for sun up. You sure? Five hundred dollars, sure. You won't wait. Huh? He's still alive. What about the gunfighter? He's still over there at Doc's office. You remember what I told you? Sure thing. You betcha, Clay. <laughs> I saw something in the alley. Keep looking into that dark long enough. You could be riding now. You could be doctoring in Abilene or Kansas City. You could, but I ain't. It's luck. Clay Sidden won't come by himself. He'll bring two or three. Three. I saw them tonight. Well, I'm no good with a gun. You'll have to go it alone. I'm used to it. the alley. I, I was scared Clay tried to stop me. Said and find you here, you can't go back. I know. Mr. Tate, they're coming for you. I know. hardly seem natural in being so quiet. He always had a lot of words. I guess I always had a softness for German folks. There are lots of them back home. Back east? St. Louis. I know a lot of them there. My pa used to handy work for the Schoenbruns. They had a big house on a hill. Well, I remember I was Five, maybe six. One Christmas, my pa took me up there with him. I remember Mrs. Schoenbrunn. Oh, she was real big and fat. She kept stuffing me with cookies and cake. Like I'd never tasted before. I was sick for two days. I don't, I don't cook fancy. Do you think he'll mind? I don't think he'll mind. Well, that's it. Come on.
Place that and take, can you hear me? Come on out. Hey, gunfighter, you overlooked something. We got law in this town. Ain't you or nobody else gonna ride in and kill a man without no car? Out by the alley. Hey, you got a show. The sooner you come out, the sooner we settle and get some sleep. You hear me, gunfighter? We got something for you. Send him out, Doc. We got some medicine here. Almost as quick as yours. <laughs> hey, don't rile me. We're four to one. To two. miles closer. Thanks, Doc. You take care. Mr. Tate? I never rightly said thanks. I meant pain. You take care of your patient. You hear? Both of them. I'm going to need them both. I'll end a cooker. I'm going to have family. Bye.